Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here with my Galaxy S4 Active, which is my new Galaxy S4 variant over here, uh, which is like a, a normal Galaxy S4 with the, but with the TFT display here and the 8 episode camera and also of course differences in terms of design and also that this phone is water resistant and dust resistant so you can see here water resistant over here you can also see it on the back you can still take off the back side though um, but uh, and underneath you have the battery that you can remove you can also insert the SD card in your normal SIM card behind this little tray or tray or this little uh, removable back. Uh, I do like the rubber feel to it. It's a little bit wider also uh, than the normal Galaxy S4 uh, but overall very very nice product. Uh, also what I did enjoy about this phone was that when I got it it did have a lot of storage available and now I've been installing some games but very much storage uh, option, uh, very much storage available here on the 16GB variant uh, compared uh, to what you would get uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S4, the normal variant, and that is of course pretty pretty uh, cool. Uh, of course, here I do have my Note phone, uh, which is Samsung, one of Samsung's cool series, which uh, comes with an S Pen, uh, and of course S Pen is pretty useful, especially the Note 2 compared to uh, the first uh, the first Note series that, that was. Pretty, uh, it was a pretty cool device when it did come out, but this one did bring a lot of improvements, especially to the S Pen, easier to find the button, better sensitivity, uh, and also that it's a bigger pen. Also, in terms of form factor, the Note 2 was a big, 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 uh, big step up from uh, its smaller brother that's 5.3 inch big, but this one is 5.5 inch but this one is uh, not as thick so it actually feels better than the first generation Note 2 and something that I definitely do enjoy a ton actually and I can't wait to see the next generation Note coming out uh, which is going to be the Note 3 that we can see the 4th of September uh, so if you take a look here both of course have TouchWiz installed we can check out which, which kind of Android version we are running here um, you go down to about device and the 4.1 jelly bean versus the new 4.2 jelly bean uh, so awesome let's go back uh, if you want to see any specific videos also with these phones comparing something please let me know about that uh, but you can also see here the uh, TFT display here versus AMOLED display usually Colors will look a little bit better here, probably most people will say on the AMOLED display. But the TFT display here still looks uh, good, actually. Uh, this is a high-end phone, so uh, the display is actually very good for most people, especially if you use coming from a high-end phone. Uh, but if you are used to AMOLED screens, you will see a tiny, tiny bit of difference. Uh, and also might do more videos uh, going over the display, uh, if you guys want to have that. Uh, definitely so uh, in terms of touch with here uh, both as I said having jelly beans so you will kind of get the same features here uh, even though I'm pretty sure that on the 412 jelly bean here you can have widgets on the lock screens and that's something with they will probably can't have on the note uh, and you also be able to see here definitely when you, you know, scroll down here uh, that green looks a little bit more greenish here on the AMOLED display uh, compared to the TFT display over here and uh, if you take a look at what we can do over here we can see that we do get about the same features here so the S4 variant here doesn't have those S pause and scroll features that you do get in S4 because it doesn't have that sensor here uh, it does have that air view feature though let's see here you can see that we have one button there to remove things that we don't want to have so but it's an update in the Android 4.2 release and uh, also uh, of course the Galaxy S4 here or the Galaxy S4 the Galaxy S4 Active is a 5 inch smartphone same as the original S4 uh, and also in, in terms of size here uh, as I said earlier uh, weighs a little bit more 20-25 grams the interesting thing about that is that it, it actually feels uh, it actually do feel uh, almost like better than the original S4 uh, because it, that it has this extra weight uh, which makes it feel a little bit more exclusive if you do ask me and also of course the material on the back 
uh, is a little bit different. And from what I've seen, should I Gorilla Glass 2, but some people have been saying Gorilla Glass 3, so it would be the same as the S4. Uh, but uh, on GSM Arena, when I did check last, uh, they may not be be uh, true. Uh, but they were stating Gorilla Glass 2, but it could be an, a new release of Gorilla Glass. Uh, if you are, uh, and of course, if you check out Samsung's own apps in here, we should see. Uh, of course, with the Galaxy Note 2 here, one of the main things with that phone is that you have the S Pen, so you will get that S Memo S Note app uh, where you can play around with the uh, drawing, and of course, you can take full advantage of the S Pen uh, if you would like. Uh, Use by going uh, to uh, this little calendar here, and you can play around with it. And of course, there's a ton of other things you can do with the S Pen. Uh, what I usually do with the S Pen, uh, which I find pretty pretty useful, uh, this is why I like the Galaxy Note, is that whenever I want to take a screenshot, I always bring out the S Pen, and if I want to blur something else or something, so let's see here, hold in like that, and immediately I can start to draw something here, and I can blur something out, and then I quickly can save it, or I can erase it, uh, also, if I would want to cut something out, uh, which I usually don't use a lot, but I can definitely see other people want to use it. Very, very easy to cut something out here, and it will save it. And you can have fun with it, uh, share it, and do all those kinds of crazy things. Uh, of course, there's just so much use, as I said, for the S Pen, and here you get some inspiration here, idea note, meeting note. Uh, there's also a guy on YouTube called Lucid Mike 78 which uh, he I made at least one like 100 tips and tricks videos for the Galaxy Note 2, and then I also seen another guy on YouTube uh, which has transformed his Note 2 uh, to a computer. Uh, is the Note 2 too big to hold in your hand? Well, uh, me that's very used to big smartphones right now. This one definitely feels used like a normal regular smartphone. Uh, because I've used the Mega 6.3 inch smartphone and soon there's gonna come an even bigger note out that's probably gonna be 5.9 inch uh, so dot four dot five inch bigger in terms of size hopefully that phone will also be thinner, thinner because that was something that they did realize with uh, when uh, the Galaxy Mega 6.3 inch did come out that it didn't feel so, that much bigger uh, sure it did feel a, a lot bigger than the Note 2 but you, the thickness is making a lot, so if the device really is thin, then that, that could have a huge, huge, huge uh, impact uh, in your uh, perform in your experience with the device. Uh, so then we also do have some exclusive apps here uh, that we only get here in the Galaxy S4 Active, and one of those apps are the S Health app. So you can keep track of your health, and uh, it has like built-in walk uh, walking thing, so it will like feel when you are walking around, and you can check your progress, and of course keep track of your overall health. Um, I think that the app is a little bit cool, uh, and then also we do have some other apps here like S Translator, uh, but then of course you should know that with Samsung you can just download. I mean, if, there, if there's something that you are missing, then you can just download it. It's quite, quite easy and straightforward to do. Uh, so also, if we go into the settings area here, I always like to take a quick little look here at some live wallpapers or just some wallpapers. People are always curious in those things. So if we go in here, Good wallpaper. If we start off with live wallpapers here, you can see that we do actually get some more live wallpapers here inside of the Galaxy Note 2, but then of course, uh, wallpapers and just no more regular live wallpapers, of course, you can just download anything and have it as a wallpaper uh, if you follow a guide or something because Android is open. Uh, but if you go back 
and let's take a look at those normal wallpapers I really do believe the company should uh, put some more time into wallpapers because me personally I do enjoy it when a phone comes with nice you stock wallpapers so you can see here uh, we should probably have completely different uh, wallpapers in these two phones and yes that is what we're having we have a little bit more nature here and of course you do get these nature backgrounds because uh, because usually Samsung is talking about the nature and that they're called TouchWiz, the latest version of TouchWiz for Nature UX. Uh, overall, both two phones are great devices at the moment, especially this one because it's water and dust resistant. Uh, so definitely will be the choice if you wanna have a high-end uh, Samsung phone that can handle dust and water just by closing this one and also uh, sealing the back side. If you don't do that, it kinda sucks. Uh, also, if the phone gets too hot while you're playing games, you can just put it in water and it should be cold again. So if you want to see a specific video comparing these two devices, maybe in browser gaming or anything, please let me know about that and I'll see if I can pull it off. Yeah, peace.